Uh, good morning uh, from Polestar showroom at Mall of the Emirates uh, of Al Futim Electric Mobility Company. Very pleased to welcome Mr. Hassan Nurjus, the managing director uh, of the company. Thank you very much for being with us. Thank you very much. Um, uh, we saw the BYD launch. We are at the Polestar. The EV uh, sector is buzzing in UAE, and naturally, Al Futim is pushing with a complete integrated uh, electric uh, mobility company. What can you tell us about your strategy? Yeah. So basically, we believe truly in the transformation of the, the mobility in the UAE and the wider GCC region. Mm -hmm. We know that the journey is not uh, that easy. So therefore, we decided to set up a completely separated company that is completely focusing on the electric mobility mix, electric mobility solutions, electric mobility services throughout the different uh, brands and the, and the services that we will incorporate in this business. Okay. Uh, we are here at Polestar. Also, we were at the BYD launch. Uh, what special about those two brands? And uh, yeah. So our strategy is actually covering the uh, entire segment. Mm -hmm. This is our vision yeah. because we believe for the full transformation of mm -hmm. the of the markets, mm -hmm. the customers moving from internal combustion engine to electric vehicle, mm -hmm. you need to democratize mm -hmm. and you need to make sure that you are addressing and catering all the different customer mm -hmm. uh, needs, different mm -hmm. segments. Mm -hmm. So Polestar is our premium brand. Mm -hmm. uh, it is a Swedish brand that has the high-end uh, products that we launched uh, in UAE last uh, year. Mm -hmm. And BYD is our mainstream brand, mm -hmm. which is actually covering the entire mainstream uh, area with a more affordable pricing and so forth. And another thing is that uh, what we launch uh, in our event is our charging business, Charge to Move, mm -hmm. with Siemens, mm -hmm. uh, the partnership that we are having Siemens, and also providing uh, uh, charging uh, solutions to every customer who buys the cars from us, but mm -hmm. also the, for the customers who buys the competitor cars, it will be open uh, to, to, to be served by yeah. us. Uh, after sales service for new brands, yeah. uh, I mean, uh, might be a bit skeptical uh, and uh, for, for, I mean, customers might be skeptical a bit, especially new brands, Chinese brands. What are you covering in this regard? Yeah. So for after sales, it's definitely it's a very different uh, story compared to the internal combustion engine. Uh, the electric cars has significantly lesser moving parts. It doesn't have an internal combustion engine, which requires a lot of yeah. different maintenance. But this this requires a different type of care. So what we are uh, envisaging for this uh, business is that having a very specialized after sales hub mm. uh, for BYD and as well as uh, Polestar in the future is purely focusing on the requirements that is around the battery and the servicing and then the, all the over the air updates that the customer can do by themselves but as well as uh, we can provide so we will create this uh, EV after sales hub that we uh, yeah. we are talking about with a very specialized technicians. So one example, for instance, that I can give is that what we are investing right now is a, a completely different accreditation program mm -hmm. that's called IMI. Mm -hmm. And only 5% of the technicians in the world that has the highest EV certificates, and we are uh, planning to bring it to, 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 to UAE market that all of our technicians will be IMI, the highest available accreditation to service the car, to repair the car. So this is a very specialized uh, business, but we are very aware of it, and then we are uh, fully prepared for that. Yeah. Uh, the lifespan of batteries uh, might be a bit of a challenge or a big question among customers. What, what can you say in this regard? And recycling batteries uh, thereafter? Yeah, so... It is definitely the one of the key important point for the customers. Like the, the warranty of the batteries are has been very important uh, discussion uh, for us with our manufacturer partners. So the, our cars uh, has eight year warranty in their batteries, as well as if you think about the recycling of the batteries is that if a lifespan of the 15 to 20 years, obviously the, the time will come that this, this um, uh, batteries needs to be recycled. Currently we are talking with our uh, uh, principals about the uh, best way of uh, doing that. We are not there yet, of course, because it will take another 15 to 20 years. But uh, just to give an example, like the BYD company has a complete separate businesses called the battery store 
storage mm-hmm. so that which they can actually recycle the battery and use it in their other part of the businesses that they have the full the circular economy as we call it that they can bring it to the customers and we will be part of this value chain uh, charging uh, also uh, lots of uh, varieties but reliability is a question yeah. uh, you mentioned uh, uh, that you are working with Siemens at the uh, for for uh, very smart in, uh, recharging stations what about solar charging stations yeah so that was a very interesting stuff so the, the one of the reason why we are actually uh, decided to also set up a business that because we know that this technology is and this innovations is changing constantly so we started with Siemens because we believe that they bring the highest quality and the highest uh, warranty um, uh, services to the customer so it is a five years warranty and uh, even if there is anything uh, with the customer uh, uh, charger it's uh, immediately replaced So we are starting with this. But the solar charging and that kind of technologies is very interesting. And what we will do in the charge to move business that we have, we will also introduce these different type of chargers for a portfolio. As we are introducing a portfolio of the cars for a different segments, we are also going to look at this. But the solar charging is definitely a very interesting space to explore. Uh, we are here in Dubai at Mall of the Emirates. What about other parts uh, uh, of the region? Uh, we saw lots of uh, interconnectivity whereby uh, other uh, uh, I mean, dealers from other countries entering the UAE market. Yeah. What about al Team entering other, uh, other markets as well, so, beyond UAE? Yes. So, obviously, the, one of the reasons why we set up this company is actually to be also a leader, not only in UAE, but also regionally. Yeah. So, As you may imagine, with our existing brands, as well as any other new brands, we are in con- uh, discussions to actually to take on board the other GCC region uh, markets. What we will do is that we will definitely work and uh, pitch ourselves for these businesses and by creating UAE as a, almost a, a starting point and a benchmark, uh, if you like, a playbook, for a success that we can lift and shift to other uh, countries as well because UAE is definitely a leading region, uh, a regional player within the GCC region. What we will not do though, we will never go into the like gray uh, import and export markets. Yeah. We will definitely do a, a, a confirmed uh, and, uh, and, uh, and uh, approved business with, uh, with the manufacturers. There is a very high demand for electric-like commercial vehicles. Uh, al Futaim is active in this regard. Uh, however, we haven't seen really solid steps in this regard to introduce. What can you tell us about this? So, light commercial vehicles, especially the van business, yeah. if you think about... Uh, post-COVID exploding last mile businesses, mm-hmm. it makes incredible sense for the fleet companies, operator, and the digital businesses mm-hmm. that we actually every day use now and enjoy it. So you can imagine after in- introducing the cars, light commercial vehicles, is uh, especially the van, is a very logical next step for us that we are in conversation with, uh, with our incumbent uh, OEMs as well as the new OEMs. We are hoping actually to introduce a solution this year for a brand that we currently Uh, we are talking about it, which will be also a big part of the last mile delivery and the digital businesses that is uh, that is moving. Another uh, growth area that we are looking at, the electric two-wheeler businesses. So we are uh, currently, again, within the, this company portfolio, we are looking into investing and as well as launching electric two-wheeler uh, businesses that will, again, cover the different type of uh, customer needs, different type of price uh, and the affordability. But this is for us the entire mobility. And hence, we call this company very carefully electric mobility company. It's not a vehicle. It's not a commercial vehicle. It's not a passenger cars. It's not only motorbikes. It's everything. Because we believe that true leader needs to cater for every customer needs. A very rich interview. Thank you very much, Hassan. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.